Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In the last video, we have seen about parameter as constructor and the default constructor. So in this video, we will be seeing about the multiple constructor and the copy constructor. Copy constructor, as the name suggests, it will copy the values in the any other constructor. So let us prepare a program to explain it. So this is our program name these are our header files this is our program format this will be our class the class name will be test and how you declare a class three word class class name then open and closing parentheses with a semicolon never forget semicolon then our main function return type main open close parentheses open brace close brace and in between them will write our whole program so let us start with our integers let's say again mnn okay then we'll make our functions public so that all can read them the first uh, constructor will be our test in that function we'll assign the value m equal to 0 and n will be equal to again 0 so this is a constructor a default constructor ok so likewise okay, now we will create a constructor with parameters or arguments let's say int x int y them m will be equal to x and n will be equal to y ok then after this what will create will be a copy constructor how we create a copy constructor it is again just like a constructor constructor then what you will be getting from the use from the main program will be a constructor again you have to copy it is ampersand sign and any variable say i close the parenthesis brace brace now in it the value of m will be equal to i which is coming from the user dot the value of m again the value of n will be equal to i dot the value of n which will be coming from the user so this is how a copy constructor program works this is your uh, main the function which will copy the constructor value to another constructor so now we will write our display function so what do we have in display function nothing we just have C out M and uh, C out N plus that. Okay, now we'll move to our main function. So we'll create one uh, object with our object with our class that uh, say R1. Okay, then uh, first we'll display the default constructor value in our program that will be. play so when this object is created the values of our default constructor that is test which has the values of uh, 0 and uh, 0 m as 0 and uh, n as also 0 this will be displayed over here so after this we'll create another object with the name r2 suppose and will pass some parameters in it say 78 and 89 oops comma 89 close the parenthesis now again you should say r1 dot display that was an error now r2 dot display blah blah close it then 
create a third object as R3. Okay, now this one will be a copy constructor. So, which uh, constructor sh it should copy? It will copy the second constructor for this time. Now we are going to display the third uh, display will be displaying the third function third constructor ok now write ch now let's run it got some errors what is this oops it gave an error that the f the uh, display function should have a return type so I forgot to give it and uh, the function should end it's not ending that's very bad now let's run it again now what uh, oops forgot the semicolon see what happens when you don't give the semicolons now a program sounds but uh, I can't see my values are correct or not so let us do some manipulation in our output let's first make all the values come down every time they print now again backslash n now run it let's see the output 00 7889 7889 but uh, how can you say that all the three constructors had been invoked let us make some more changes in our program now I'll go to the first constructor in it I'll write C out this is the value in the default constructor Second one, I'll write this is the value in parameterized constructor. Okay, now third one, this one will be for copy constructor. So we'll write value in. copy constructor now if we run it again hopefully we'll understand which value is coming from where so the oops 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 oops, oops. let us do this thing I forgot let's make it go down everything this thing also should go down this one also down now let's run it so this is the value in default constructor so what is the value in default constructor let us see this is the value in default constructor m equal to 0 n equal to 0 now we have m equal to 0 n equal to 0 then in our parameters constructor m equal to x n equal to y the m and x are 7889 why because we have passed it from here 7889 then the value in copy constructor see we had copied the uh, the object of r2 this constructor into this constructor and it gave the same values 7889 so this is how your values and your constructor works you can make it dynamic also if you want you can uh, do something like this int uh, ac and uh, tell the user to enter to values to pass ok now take the values in uh, a and C. Now in place of 7889 
will dynamically get the values from C. Oops, it's C. Okay. Now all the values which will be given by users will be displayed in these two constructors. Let us see if it works. Let's oops, close it. Now run it. it come down a bit now run it so this is the value in default constructor that is 0 0 you obviously know so I'll say the first value will be 123 second value will be 321 so this is the value in parameter as constructor that is 123 m equal to 123 and equal to 321 again the value in copy constructor is 123 321 so this is how a copy constructor and multiple constructors work. Hope you understand this program and if you have any doubt or you have any clarification, please let us know on the site so that I can clarify your doubts and improve my way of presentation. Hope you like the video and thanks for watching.